In this video, I'm going to talk about kinematics or the application of calculus in physics. So before we read the question, let me explain uh, something from physics. So in, velo in, in physics, you may have learned velocity, which is a change in distance, delta d over delta t. And you have learned this is called average velocity. This is average velocity. Now, when you come to learn higher physics or in calculus. Physics is in fact an extension of calculus. So you are interested in not the average velocity, we're interested in the instantaneous velocity. Okay, I'm writing only instant, instantaneous velocity. That means velocity at a particular instant. Suppose you drive a car on a highway, you're not always driving at 100 kilometers. Okay, the, the velocity is continuously changing. Okay, you on an average you may travel you may be traveling at 100 kilometers, but suppose you think of if a projectile. Suppose let me think about it. Let us talk about a projectile. Suppose you throw a ball, a simple ball. Okay, so the ball has a trajectory like this. Okay, so you know at each instant, if you take any instant, about this at this instant, it will have a velocity. At this instant, it will have a velocity. And at this instant, it will have a velocity. Okay, so at each instant, the velocity is changing. Okay, we are interested in finding the instantaneous velocity in physics. So you can say instantaneous velocity. So the same thing, but I will write the same letter v. When you talk in terms of instantaneous velocity, it is d s by d t. Now, what is s? S in calculus is distance. S is nothing but distance. So S is distance in calculus. Instead of writing d, d by dt, we use a different letter that is S. So this is what ds by dt is. ds is an infinitesimally small change in distance over the infinitesimally small change in time. And this differential gives you the instantaneous velocity. So if you if you know the equation of this parabola and you differentiate, suppose this is your d, suppose this is your d, suppose let me write s in, instead of d. So this is your s and this is your t. Okay, oh sorry, it should go the other way around, sorry. This is your this, your s, this is distance and this is your time. So if this is, you know the equation of this parabola, then you can find the instantaneous velocity at each point. Okay. Now, so velocity or instantaneous velocity is uh, the differentiation of s with respect to time. Okay. So let me write. So we can say instantaneous velocity, instantaneous, instantaneous velocity is. Uh, the different uh, d by dt of s. When you differentiate s, that is a function of s with respect to t, you get the instantaneous velocity. Okay, so let me again write v is equal to ds by dt. And we know in uh, if you learn integration, integration is the opposite of differentiation. This implies if you go backwards, if you diff if you integrate this. You, you should get this back. So you can say this means integration of ds by dt, which is nothing but v, okay, ds by dt is v, with respect to t, you should get your function v, okay. And of course, you need, need some more information. So we can write, if you want to be exact, this would be v plus c, generally, v plus c, your velocity plus the constant of integration. Okay, so let's read the question now. Joey and a friend are playing with a wind-up toy. This is a wind-up toy. The velocity v of the toy after t seconds is given by this formula. This is your velocity with respect to time, where v is centimeters per second. After five seconds, that means when t is zero, when t is zero, the toy is 30 centimeters away from toy away from joy that means s is given to be 30 when t is sorry t is 5 not 0 when t is 5 
your s is 30 centimeters how far was the toy from joy initially that means the question is when t is zero what is s that's the question so as you saw when you integrate the velocity function you get your distance so i can write s the s would be integration of v dt the s is integration of v dt so this is integration of your v your velocity is 36 minus so i'm going to write 36 36 t to the power 0 minus 6t squared dt okay because your v is given to be 36 minus 60 squared so integrating with respect to time the same rule or uh, add the power by 1 so 36 t to the power 1 over 1 minus 6 t cube over 3 plus c okay so your function your distance is s is 36 t minus 2 t this 6 divided by 3 is 2 2 t cube plus c now to figure out c we have got s is given to be how much s is 30 when t is 5 so let us put t as 5 and s as 30 so this is 30 30 3 0 30 is equal to 36 times 5 minus 2 times phi cube plus c so 30 is equal to uh, what is 36 times 5 so this is 150 and 30 which is 180 okay minus this is 125 times this is 250 okay you can use a calculator if you want to hopefully I'm right so 30 this is minus 70 plus c your c this implies your c is 100 so your function of time sorry function of s i write that answer here yeah, yeah the function of s with respect to time is 36 t 36 t minus 2 t cube plus 100 plus 100 so let me show this in a bit graphical way Okay, so let's understand first this equation, the equation of velocity. So let's write this. Let's go to graph uh, and type in this equation, which is 36 minus 6x squared. Now, you should have a basic idea. This is a transformation of uh, the basic parabola, which has gone 36. It's, it is an upside-down parabola. So let you need to have a sense of your scale i'll go from zero to say 10 seconds and i know the maximum is uh, when t is zero your x would be so when t is zero your s would be 36 so i'm going to change from zero to say 40 scale of two would do and then draw the graph this is your so this is the equation of the velocity so so it reaches it starts with a max its maximum velocity then it's going down because you're winding this toy up so it starts with a velocity so y intercept so let me go maximum oops uh, draw and so i need to change the scale so or find y y intercept so when time is zero when x is zero you have a velocity of 36 and then it's going down okay you can understand the velocity goes down and if you draw the graph of your graph of your function of this function so let's graph that let's delete it and this is 36 x minus 2 x cube plus 100 2 x cube cube plus 100 okay so you can know when x is 0 this is going to be 100 so it's going to be 100 uh, away from you s is the distance of the toy away from you so i'll change the scale i'll go from 0 to 10 that's fine i'll change the y from 0 to 100 
scale of phi and see how the graph looks like. Oh, so I mean to see the whole graph, let us go from minus 10 to plus 10 so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so this is, uh, let us make from, this is going say to 200 and see what happens. So this is your graph. Okay, so at when time is zero, you are 100 meters away, and then you're going away, the toy is going away from you, and then it's coming towards you. So this graph tells me at zero, when t is zero, it's 100 meters away, and then it goes away from you, okay, and then it is coming towards you. 